Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Happy New Year. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out Bilbo. How you know the N word is coming? Let's go. It's nice to be back here down in the south, man. I had a real weird experience last time I came down here. I was in Nashville, right? Sort of an awkward social situation, right? I'm sitting at this bar. There's this white dude sitting like two stools away. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. And that Terrell Owens story was in like sports news. So I try to make conversation. I'm like, man, look at this guy. This guy just signed a $40 million contract. He's already bitching, man. How much money do you need to make? And the dude looks at me. He's like, you know what I say? And then he looked over his shoulder, which I now know is the telltale <laughs> sign that the N-word is coming. And it's coming hard. Oh, yeah, it's not going to be pronounced with the A. It's going to be with the R. And he hit the R. He, like, stuck the landing. It was like a dismount. Wow. Clan members high-fiving in the background, like wow. doing the wave. Just out of nowhere. So now, immediately, I'm looking over my shoulder like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm waiting for, like, this hail of black fists to come raining down on top of me. I hate oh. when people do stuff like that. That dude made me part of like a potential ass kicking mm -hmm. that I had nothing to do with. Imagine. You don't do shit like that. He just had that word hot potato just threw it in my lap. <laughs> oh, God. Trying to pass it down to the next white dude. Oh, God. I hate when people do that, man. You know, it's like, dude, feel me out first. <laughs> Ask some questions. In it. Do you like to fish? <laughs> Have you ever fucked your sister? Right? <laughs> I start rattling off answers, then you go old school. Oh, God. You give me a pamphlet, you tell me about your militia. Wow. Don't just dive into it. Uh -huh. That dude was one of the angriest people I ever met. This guy's a genius. Every single stand up I do with Bill Burr is always good. Always good. It's just so good. In my opinion, it's the best. E, Dave Chappelle, Patrice O'Neill, like I always say, them three, and Ricky Gervais, they're something else. So good. I should have known that word was coming because he was just watching Terrell, right? Anytime I would bring up, look at man, that guy's talking trash, he would just like flip out. He won't shut up! <laughs> you know, those people get like so mad they're not even looking at you. Their yeah. eyes are up. You just shut up <laughs> and play the game! <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny? I don't even like Terrell, but now I love the guy. Because every time I see him talking trash, I know this idiot in Nashville is just losing his mind, like kicking over his kitchen TV. Shut the fuck up! Oh, God. Brilliant. I like violence, man. I am. I, not, not like when it happens to me or if I see it live. I like watching it on TV, you know? Watching people, you know, oh, God. get attacked by animals. <laughs> this guy. Just get blasted in the face or something, you know? Like, I'm a huge sports fan. You know my favorite, like, moment of, the, like, the last year was in sports? That Detroit Piston, Indiana Pacer, bench clearing brawl. Wasn't that great? Yeah, was that the... Was that the Mali in... What's it called again? Ah, uh, was it Mali in Mali? Something like that. Oh, it was a big basketball game. And to... Oh, what was it called? I think it was the guy... That was a world meta piece... Was it probably fighting? They gotta change his name to Ward Metal Peace, something like that. I don't know. I could be wrong. Let me know. That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. I was so confused when I watched ESPN that day. They were like, that was absolutely disgraceful. Basketball fans, they, they just must be a mess. <laughs> I'm sitting there looking like, I'm a basketball fan. I loved it. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed watching out of shape civilians get the shit kicked out of them <laughs> by professional wow. athletes. It was fascinating. Imagine. And I think as sports fans, we kind of had it coming, right? Because how many times you go into a game, right? You got a little too drunk, you started screaming at some dude on the field who could clearly kick the shit out of you, right? Mm -hmm. If you saw him in the parking lot, you'd be like, hey, can you sign my stamp? Like, you're awesome. You get in the game, you're all drunk, you're like, you suck, buddy! You're a piece of shit! So and they're always calling him up, come on up here! No, come on up here! <laughs> well, they came up there. <laughs> The shit out of everybody it was great. Mm -hmm. It was like a cartoon. It did. You're like beating up whole rows of people at once, like. <laughs> wow. I loved every second. I love how Ron Artest punched the wrong guy. Wasn't that great? Is he that taught a guy? that dude a valuable lesson in life. Ron Artest. 
when shit goes down, you don't just stand there like you're watching a movie like, wow, it's coming right at me. Must be in 3D or something. Yeah. That was a five foot six inch, 110 pound white dude <laughs> and an angry six foot 10 inch black dude running right at him. Imagine. That had to have been in his top three nightmares all time. <laughs> right behind getting his dick cut off and being lit on fire. <laughs> and he just stood there. He's like trying to explain himself. Well, I still have the liquid in my cup, so there's, uh. there's no way I could have... Ah, ah. <laughs> He's an idiot. Oh, God, that was absolutely brilliant. I really enjoyed that. This guy is a genius, man. Bill Burr is an absolute genius. Let me know, was it Ronald Test that changed his name to what? Meta Peace, something like that. Let me know, let me know. But yeah. I love finding old billboard. Look at him with hair. Billboard with hair. Just something I don't believe, you know, because you're so used to seeing him bald now. But yeah, I just like the way he's growing, you know, he has kids now when he's talking about life. How he's just he's just angry every time, most of the time. Funny guy. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you like it, like it, comment, subscribe. Check out the Patreon if you just want to support the channel. That'd be really good. But yeah, let me know what the communities you want to check out and I'll check it out. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye bye.